My name is Ryan Bogeen. I, I work at a company called My Energy here in Saskatoon. Uh, we specialize in renewable energy, so solar and geothermal. Our local company have been here for, in business for about 20 years now. I'm a project coordinator, so I do design, purchasing, project management. I wear quite a few hats, but I started as an installer. Very at the bottom, didn't know anything, and worked my way up where I was hands-on tools in the field, doing installs on your house, on your farm or whatever. Shortly after that, it's okay, now you're adding on purchasing duties. You gotta order the equipment, you know what you need. Now you gotta order it, and then soon after that, it was okay, well now I'm moving up to design as well. So not only can I get the stuff, but design it and go install it. So I, I kind of did all those things for a number of years. Now I'm primarily focused on ordering and, and engineering where the company's grown enough, so. Yeah, in this industry, like I, my background and my education was in traditional environmental sciences. So it was in Alberta at a, a Lakeland College in Vermilion, and uh, it was testing soil science, water science, air science, that sort of thing, where it was really kind of focused on oil and gas. I did that for a few years, but didn't quite like the travel lifestyle and kind of bouncing from one place to another. You got to see a lot of stuff, and it was, it was really cool kind of exploring, but I wanted something a little more grounded, and I found this here in Saskatoon where they were looking for a local junior level installer for solar and geothermal systems, and I had done a project actually in college that was related to that where I did a renewable energy kind of presentation for the class, and I just noticed that, hey, I know something about this, let me, let me apply. So that's kind of how I got my foot in the door was I just said, hey, I, had, I know a little bit about it, I'm interested in it. And when I was moving back to Saskatoon, uh, that's where I landed. So, yeah, I started actually at, at university level with getting my degree in, actually I think it was biochemistry. It shows that it was my first year. Uh, I was interested in sciences all throughout high school. I, those were my best subjects where I, I found those to be the most interesting and they came the most naturally to me. Did my first year in university and I pivoted over to college when I found that the class sizes um, and the hands-on wasn't quite great for my learning style. Like I, I was able to do it and be successful, but I didn't feel like I was retaining it as much. So when I switched over to college, the class sizes were a lot smaller. There's typically less than 10 of us. You're out in the field, hands-on learning a bunch of different methods and different styles all at the same time, which I found very helpful. So that's kind of what I think was a better fit for me, trying to develop a a better knowledge base or in science. So I have a Bachelor's of Applied Science in Environmental Management. It's a three-year program that uh, has the last, or it's four years, three years of school, one year of basically work placement or practicum. So I actually got in my final year to go work in an environmental consulting company and do what I was trained to do because of my experience and being hands-on and the teachers were like one-to-one -one and it was really good that way, I was, more prepared for the workforce. I wasn't kind of straight out of never doing any of this before and kind of fearful of what I might do. I kind of knew knew how to do a lot of this stuff. So that it really helped me get that position, get the job and say, hey, I've done this before. Yeah, typical days are pretty diverse where I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of juggling, where when you do wear many hats or do a lot of different roles in a company when you've been here a while, it, it can get or seem kind of frantic, but planning for future jobs, handling past and present jobs with service calls or, or many different facets of planning uh, is typically what takes up a lot of my time. And also helping folks out where I'm, I've been here long enough, so I, I'm kind of a bit of a resource where I can help folks out, I can kind of get them unstuck, I can provide some of my knowledge to say, solve problems or whatever. So most of my day is quite busy. Feels like there's not enough hours in the day, but you get a lot done, you're not watching the clock. It's, it's always lots going on and it, it, it is satisfying when you know that you're making a difference and what you're doing is, is having a, a positive impact. So it was something where when I got into it at the time, there was maybe only one or two companies in the province doing solar. So when I was searching around for jobs, it was one of those things where it was like, I've never seen that before. I did the kind of few projects in school. It was something that always interested me and something that kind of resonates with me as a person is being an expert in, in what you're doing. And I'd like that to be unique as well. And this was a perfect fit for that, where it's like, this is a brand new industry, it's growing, it's, it's in its infancy, and I'm kind of getting in at the ground level. And that's kind of where I found that kind of attraction to the industry, where it's like, hey, this is brand new, and there is a huge ceiling. That's kind of what you always hear when you're in school or when you're a kid. It's like, if you can find something that has 
a lot of potential for growth or as a new and exploding industry that could be very interesting for for lots of kids and that was for me too where it's like hey there's there's so much room to grow here and actually be a part of something that your work is showing results and you can see that like hard work is like yeah this is this is really taken off and i've had a decent input into that so that was something that i find very valuable probably the most enjoyable is seeing seeing that impact your hard work getting in at the ground level and growing with a smaller company as it gets bigger and bigger with the industry has been really rewarding where i, or I can see that I started on the tools, on the roof, and then kind of growing and growing, and the company's growing and the industry's growing. And you can see that it's like, hey, this feels really good. Uh, and, and I like kind of being part of that progression where the industry's growing, I'm learning at the same time and growing and, and kind of feeling like, hey, this has all been a really good choice and it's been successful. So that's kind of what I like at, when I come to work. I know that this has been a good choice and, and it was smart to kind of pursue this career path. Yeah, here in Saskatchewan, it's similar to pretty much most places in the world. Solar is growing. Renewable energies are growing. The interest is there, right? The, the population and the, and the people here are interested in it. And it's the same way as everything. And in the past 10 years that I've been in the business, it went, like I said, from one or two companies and a handful of people to several different companies, big projects, lots happening, and a lot of interest. So I, I think the, fu the future's there for sure. It's, it's not going anywhere. It keeps getting better. And here in Saskatchewan, um, yeah, I, it's got a good future. We're seeing a lot of stuff happening and you might see on the news or on, on the internet or wherever big projects. Well, those are happening here now. Those, have, those are starting. We're starting to see a big fields of solar panels. I've been fortunate enough to, to work on a couple of those. So I think, I think the future is uh, really positive. For science specifically, it's such a, a, such a good field. It's so broad, right? You can do anything. You can go anywhere and fit in. So if you're, if you're thinking about sciences, whether it's renewables or anything, I, I think it's a, a fantastic field or at least set of interests to, to pursue. Like if, if it's something that interests you, you'll find something. And I, I think you'll love it. Like if, if it's something that's your passion and you can, you'll find a career for it. If you're trying or thinking about getting into renewables, the future is really positive. There's going to be a lot out there, lots of opportunities as the industries grow across Canada or even across the world. If, if you're looking at traveling or doing this elsewhere, there is a lot of potential. If traveling and being abroad isn't your thing, Locally here in Saskatoon, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. The city has got a number of really good incentive programs that get homeowners and people thinking about, hey, it's easy to add solar now. So that's going to be a, a big and expanding market. The city of Saskatoon is also thinking about adding kind of a what we call it megawatt scale or a big solar field here in the city. There'll be that happening over the next few years where that'll bring a lot of attention and kind of show that the, hey, we're committed here in Saskatchewan and specifically in Saskatoon to doing solar and going green and, and doing renewable energy. So if you're looking to get into it soon, there's lots of potential coming up really soon. If it's not a linear career choice and you're trying many different things, different industries, meeting new people, that's fine. That's kind of what I did where I, I didn't bounce around a lot, but I did work with a lot of good people in different areas of science and technology and experiencing different elements of my education, where it's a, your education is a blend of many different things. So your career might also be a blend of many different things where you do a lot of stuff and figure out what most interests you. And if it's not the first or second or third thing, that's okay. Keep going at it. And, and if, you, if you apply yourself, you'll have success. More practical, something that my high school teachers and especially when I got into college and university pushed was kind of communication and, and technical writing. That's been probably my most used skill is learning how to do writing, emails, communication, phone calls really effectively. When I was in school and still currently, I get pretty bad anxiety with public speaking and with talking to folks on the phone and that sort of thing. So when that training at school prepares you to effectively communicate, how do you write and explain yourself to make sure that those folks you're dealing with are having that positive relationship with you? That's been a, a huge help where I, where I kind of re feel really good that, hey, dealing with Ryan or dealing with whoever you might be is a great thing to do at, at work. So that's, that's really what I, th I think has been a, a big help for me too.